Next year may be even more difficult, said Brigadier General Oleksandr Tarnavsky, commander of the Tavria Separate Military Unit. The defense forces must finish the fight and liberate our territories. But the enemy knows this and will do everything to prevent it, the commander said. Responding to the question of whether it is realistic to end the war next year, Tarnavsky said, I never ask the question to end the war. The question is to win, because there are different ways of ending the war. For us, the military, it is victory. F-16 The first batch of these planes will arrive in Ukraine in a few days. According to the publication, 18 F-16 aircraft are ready for delivery. The pilots were trained in Romania. Ignat also denied information about the arrival of fighter jets. For 30 years, Ukraine has not started production of weapons, although we have a huge defense industrial complex, more than 250 enterprises, Colonel of the Armed Forces of Ukraine Ignat. There is no operational tactical missile system, GROM-2. The situation with tanks is unclear. Ukraine will not be able to build its own aircraft. We have an Antonov from aircraft construction. We started to do something late. All hope is in the West and our cooperation with them, said the spokesman for the PS. The first revolutionary Franken-Sam air defense systems are already at the front. Kamishin Franken-Sam is a joint development of the USA and Ukraine. It can protect critical infrastructure facilities. According to Kamishin, Ukraine is now developing its own air defense systems, large, complex, and expensive. USA allocates $250 million for military aid package to Ukraine. Blinken. The Pentagon announced what is included in the new military aid package. Additional ammunition for the NASAM's air defense system, Stinger anti-aircraft missiles, air defense system components, additional ammunition for HIMARS, 150 Finomatrim and 105 artillery rounds, TAU missiles, Javelin and AT-4 anti-tank systems, more than 15 million rounds of small arms ammunition, explosive demolition munitions, spare parts, medical equipment, maintenance and other support equipment. The United States will provide 250 million in military assistance to Ukraine, Secretary Blinken announced. This is the final assistance package for 2023. It includes air defense ammunition, HIMARS MLRs, and artillery. USA allocates $250 million for military aid package to Ukraine. Blinken EU prepares 20 Balavern Plan B to fund Ukraine that does not require Hungary's consent. Financial Times The plan will be considered at the February 1st summit if Orban continues to refuse to help Ukraine. Ukraine has started serial production of Shahed's analog, head of the Ministry of Strategic Industry, Oleksandr Kamishin. Since 2016, the state had developments that for some reason were not produced. We started production in one series. Now we are producing dozens of them. Next year, the armed forces may receive more than a thousand of these drones, which can fly for more than 1,000 kilometers. To recap, 42 times more mortar shells were produced this year than last year. The production of ammunition, 73-meter, 125-millionumi, VOG-17, VOG-25 shells and factory ammunition for UAVs was launched, doubled the number of Stugna ATGMs, brought production of the Bodan self-propelled artillery system to the level of the world's defense industry giants. A joint venture with a major German corporation was established. Construction of the Baykar plant in Ukraine has begun and should be completed within a year and a half. Ukraine has started serial production of Shahed's analog, head of the Ministry of Strategic Industry, Oleksandr Kamishin. This is what the big landing ship Novocherkask looks like now, or rather, what's left of it. The result of the attack, two sunk, and one slightly damaged. That was all the top news from Ukraine for December 27th. Thank you for reading our issue. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.